everyone. We really like working with Kuretake. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that company, but we already sell quite a few things from Kuretake. Kuretake is another Japanese stationery brand that is not really as well known as like Mitsubishi, Pilot, or Zebra, but they have a lot more kind of in the genre of art supplies. We've been adding more and more of their items to our site, especially because we have been getting more and more interested in art and our retail customers at our brick and mortar store in Fairfield, Iowa. There are a lot of artists in the community and so they're giving us a lot of interesting feedback about the kind of stuff they like. Look, I'm talking for a minute without anything to show you. That's not fun. So anyway, we have started adding more art supplies from Kuretage to our site. And the first one I want to tell you about is one that I've been enjoying lately. It is the watercolor set. It's like a very portable watercolor set. I really like that it's a white, just like a plain white case. Kind of zoom in so you can see it more. Mine looks pr pretty messy because I let my son play with it with me. <laughs> One of the really nice things about this set is, let me show you a clean version. Um, so you get, in addition to 14 colors, and I did swatch those, so let me grab those. So in addition to the 14 colors, you also get this waterproof drawing pen, which is awesome. I love using this with watercolors. It's the thing I used before I started using this one with watercolors was like a regular Sharpie. And I also, like this is like the best thing, is this <laughs> portable water brush. If you haven't started using these yet, you really should. We also sell them separately. So, you know, you, you get one in this watercolor kit or if you don't need a whole watercolor kit, you can also just buy the brush. But this basically makes it so that you can keep water in, in your water brush. And so you don't have to, to cart like a jug of water around. I just find it really like handy and portable and I'm much more likely to like get out my watercolors and play with them because I don't feel like it's as messy and I find these are really really nice tools so it's not just the convenience of having the water in the in the barrel of the brush but they're actually really nice brushes at least in my beginner experience I really like them. So I was swatching, my son was helping me, swatching these colors. I love, love, love all three shades of green, the olive green, deep green, and grass green. They are all so gorgeous. I don't know if it comes through here, but in person, they're just amazing. The blue is just fantastic. I feel like if I'm, I don't know if it would be the same, but when I'm looking through my iPhone here, the blue is brighter in person than it is on the phone. And same with the violet. Like all these colors are a little bit brighter in person than they're coming through. So I just wanted to mention that. But anyway, I just think they're gorgeous. I can't wait to start mixing and playing with them. And I think this is so fun. And it's also a really good, like if you're a traveler's notebook person, you can pair this with the sketch insert. That is fun. All right, so moving on, because I just wanna get through like a handful of new Kuretake products that I'm excited about. I had trouble like picking which ones, so I didn't wanna go through every single one. I Instagrammed this one. This is the journal and title marker. watched these so you might have seen my photo already the denim is gorgeous I'm really into the olive green of course I love olive green so it's just kind of a personal preference thing the two shades of brown are gorgeous I just can't you know here's the antique burgundy I can't say enough positive things oh the splash is really cool too in any case, 
I could go on forever about these, but what's really nice is you've got this finer, sorry, wrong end. You've got this finer tip, which I was using here, but you also have this squared, actually, I guess I wouldn't call it a square tip. You have this rectangular tip that you can use to write like really fine or thick. You can also, let me just show you something really quick. I don't know if this is like kosher to use it this way, but I use this similarly to how I would use a brush pen, even though there's no give, it's a firm thing, where I go f uh, like thinner on the upstroke and thicker on the downstroke, and it totally works. So, I don't know what I'm writing here. I guess I'm writing a month. So I've really been enjoying this also for lettering, but the idea is it's like this end you can write with in a journal or draw or whatever, and then this end is more of making your graphic or scrolling kind of titles, your blocky titles. So this is a really fun pen. Looks really cool displayed in our store too, if you ever get a chance to come visit us. Let me move on really fast. I want to talk about the KaleidoLine starter set. So the Kale if you don't know what KaleidoLines are, you could check out our Kaleido, I think we have a Getting Started KaleidoLines booklet. You can Google KaleidoLines. It's basically Kude Take's version of Zen Doodle or Zen Tangle. So this set is really cool. It comes with four really popular pens. The Mangaka Flexible and the Mangaka Drawing Pen. So you get a fine and medium Mangaka Flexible and you get an 01 and an 05 Mangaka Drawing Pen. So obviously people really like using these for manga drawing. I know people who love the Mangaka Flexible for lettering. Actually, I like it. In fact, I believe it's in our brush lettering starter kit, if I'm not making that up. Even people who don't do brush lettering like some of us, just for kind of like regular fun lettering, they like the Mangaka Flexible. So it's not just for people who like drawing. And then you get eight really pretty colors of the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pen. So this is a not a brush style pen, it's an actual brush pen. So this set would actually be really fun for brush lettering, to be honest. Then you get some Kaleido lines, kind of like brief, uh, it's like a little brief for you especially if you don't have the booklet, get you started on the techniques. We also sell a KaleidoLine stencil set, which, which a lot of people that get into this like to use those. But it's basically a really fun way to do an art project when you, you're kind of like me, you have a little bit of an art phobia. And then you get some, the, some templates and then just some paper for doing your own. You can use these to make your own cardstock. So, I don't think. Um, so anyway, this is a really fun thing. I think it's a really neat um, gift also. Like, you know, not just for yourself, but if you wanted to buy somebody a gift. I think that's really cool. Okay, keep moving on here. More fun art stuff. We got these manga starter sets. So they come with the Kude color and some drawing pens. So let me show you. This one, for example, is it, the theme is Japanese girl. And you're going to get the manga, some mangaka pens, sepia in 01 and 05. And you're going to get 10, I believe, 10 of the Kude Color Mangaka pens, the Kude Color pens for manga, I guess, is technically. And they've basically picked out appropriate colors for you. And they give you some tips. 
And this comes with your choice of a Japanese girl, girl, or boy. She looks more like a woman and he looks more like a man to me, but what else? Okay, so, and you've got a template here. I don't know if you call this a template. What do you call this? Just something to get you started. That's one thing that helped me get out of my art phobia is realizing that a lot of artists practice by kind of copying what other people are doing. It's not, like I always thought you had to conjure art out of your mind. And especially if you're beginning, that's not really the way it works. Like when I watch artists working, a lot of times, you know, they're pulling up images on the internet and kind of getting inspired that way. They're looking for color inspiration on Pinterest. So things like this kind of help people get going. And especially if you know someone who's like interested in manga, but kind of intimidated by the whole thing, these sets are really cool and I think they could help get them inspired, but they're also just full of really nice pens that they can use beyond creating this particular theme, obviously. So here's the boy pack, different colors. And this one's the girl, completely different colors. So that's another kind of fun artistic thing that's added to our site. I think there are a couple more things I wanted to tell you about. Real quick, I'll show you some of those brush pen, sorry, the water brush options. This is called the Brush 2O, get it? Because there's an H at the end of brush, ha <laughs> ha. All right, so there's a detailer tip, which is gonna be really fine. A medium tip, which is the one that comes in the uh, paint set. So if you were to get, sorry, shaking. If you were to get this paint set and wanted additional sizes of brush, you already get the medium in there. So maybe you'd want the detailer or what, or the large or the broad. The broad is very thick. It's really nice for my two-year-old son. And then the large tip. So we'll have, we have more detail. We'll have more detailed pictures on our website so you can look there. I'm just trying to introduce you to the product and not get too into detail because the video will be too long. All right, the Bemoji. I don't want to forget to talk about the Bemoji because it's probably one of my new favorite pens since I'm really into brush lettering. So this is, I was playing with the Bemoji fine and super fine. If you ever wonder why I have products in plastic bags. <laughs> it's because that's how we round things up for images. And then these that we end up swatching become our, my, you know, my pens or pens for our retail shop for people to play around with. So the Bemoji pen is a hard tip brush style pen. These are super comfortable. They're super gorgeous. They have a traditional look, but this is not bamboo, it's plastic. So this one is the super fine hard tip. Oh, let me I always get nervous on camera when I'm writing, so doesn't doesn't reflect the full extent of my capabilities, okay? <laughs> I have to put that disclaimer. Okay. And then this one is the fine. I would say the one you want depends on how big you like to do your lettering. You know, if you want to go pretty 
small on your lettering, you want the super fine. If you want to go bigger, you would want the fine. You know, there definitely is a difference. You could try them both. I really, really enjoy them. I think they're really... I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's a little bit of a unique feeling compared to some of the ones I'm, I'm used to using. Almost like... Maybe it's because of the hard tip, I'm not sure. But it definitely feels different from the, one of my favorites is the Pentel Fude Touch Sign Pen. And that one, that one that I'm so used to using, it's really easy for practicing. This one feels a little bit, maybe like a next level compared to that one. Maybe, a, maybe Maybe it requires a little bit more skill to control. I hope that what I'm saying is true and accurate, but I've really enjoyed it as the next level of practice. Because you can see some of my letters look a little bit shaky. Does that make sense? Which I kind of like, but it also is an indication that I'm still getting used to the pen. Which I feel like with the Pentel Fude Touch Sign Pen, it's like there's almost no learning curve to using the pen, which is why I like a really good beginner pen. And then finally, I want to mention the Painty FX. This is really good on different materials. One of my customers wanted something that he could use to draw on glass, a white pen on glass. And that's why I originally got the Painty FX. And this one is good on metal, glass, plastic, and wood, and more. I think you can pretty much draw on about anything. And then we have it in white, black, gold, and silver. So if you have any needs to draw on materials like that, you might want to check out the Painty Pen. Okay, I think that's about wraps up all of the new artistic Kude Take items I wanted to talk about. Let me know if you have any questions. If you've already tried some of these products and you love them, please tell us why. And have a great day. Bye-bye.